What up everyone, welcome back to another GTA Farm Glitch. This is after the patch of the new update of the new DLC car in the game. I'm going to show you that this is after the new update and the new vehicle being in the game. Okay, I'm going to show you the new vehicle on the website. This other San Andreas. This is the vehicle we will be modding. This is the new car, the car Merge. Merge. Before we get started with this video, please go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to their channel, turn on post notifications, and let's get on into it. You will need the car that you want to pull the mods from, a friend, and you will need a CEO office. Now, I recommend to have the CEO office Maze Bank Towers. That's Maze Bank Towers in the middle of the city, but you can't have any Maze Bank. But, I reason why I tell you Maze Bank Towers because then the less you will have to drive on the glitch screen and you'll see what I mean as we get inside the, gl the uh, glitch here now the friend that is helping you will need to own story mode they will need to have their car inside of Ella's car meet as long as yours you will need to be inside your car your friend will need to be outside of his car and he wants to, to invite you to a sprint and when he does when the timer comes up all he wants to do is go hold down on d-pad and he wants to go on the screen to sit on the Franklin alert he wants to have at least Franklin unlock in story mode so I'm gonna accept the sprint invite all right and then he wants to do now is sit on that story mode alert alert now when the timer ends for you you'll be stuck on a black screen. Once you're stuck on the black screen, you want to bounce off of someone with different targeting mode. So if you were an assisted aim, you want to bounce off of someone in a free aim. So if you are in a free aim, you need to bounce off of someone that's in an assisted aim. So I'm on the black screen. So I just want to bounce off of someone in a different targeting mode. So I just want to find someone that's online, so a different target mode, and get the join game alert. So we can bounce off, so I just need to find someone. Inside a different target mode here. Give me one second, y'all, as I'm trying to find someone. So I did find someone here in a different target mode. So I'm going to accept the first alert, decline the second. So, decline the second. Now I'm outside on this glitch screen. Now what you want to do is open up your pause menu, go to online, and if you're on new gen, expand and enhanced, you want to go to GTA Plus. Now if you're on old gen, the old GTA, you do want to go to new criminal enterprise pack and back out. So old gen, criminal enterprise pack, new gen, GTA Plus, and back out. Once you do so, so go ahead, open up your pause menu, and look for one of these two jobs up here at the top of your menu of your map. So it's either this one or this one here. You can use either or. Does that matter? But as long as you have your job start and set the show before doing the glitch. So you just want to start up the job. Now you will get the alert saying fail to start up. That is okay. So now you're glitched out so now you just want to make your way to your CEO office from here this is the part that will get kind of annoying but it will take some practice so my CEO office is up here at Maze Bank West S so I just want to sit there just follow this line till I'm able to get there now your controls are a little bit kind of um, different so 
you'll kind of figure it out as you're kind of driving. It does take some practice and getting some used to, but I would highly recommend if you're going to be doing this glitch, and you can mod more than one car at the same time with this glitch. Now, with the old glitch, you, glitch, you were able to call your mechanic. Heck, Rockstar has now patched it where you cannot call your mechanic heck, and request a car. So that does not work no more. Or so you, in all of the properties in your map, you cannot enter. The only property you can enter is your CEO office. So that is why you do have to make your way to your CEO office with this glitch. So I'm gonna mute my mic in the video until I get to my CEO office. So enjoy me driving and bouncing and stuff. So. Just stay tight with me, y'all, and I will get back to y'all as soon as I get to my CEO office to tell y'all the remaining part of the steps.
Alright y'all, so I'm almost there to my CEO office now. Um, this is the part where you would like to want to go ahead and open up the interactors menu and take the easy way out. Out if you already have the car out that you want to pull the mods from. Now I already died and spawned back in because I didn't drove into that gas station by accident back there. But I'm going to still do it here on video to show you. So you just want to go to your interactions menu and just take the easy way out. Now if you do not have the car out that you want to pull the mods from, just simply, simply a go drive this car that you're in inside your CEO office. Get in the car that you want to pull the mods from. Drive outside and go ahead and take the easy way out. And then you want to go back to your CEO office. Remember the cars that you want to put the mods from have to be inside your CEO office. Or you will have to use your assistant to be able to call the uh, call the cars out. So just keep that in mind. Y'all just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to... Drive the last of a couple blocks here to my CEO office. As you see, I am almost there. I'm just going to take this last little corner, y'all. And then, since I did die and respawn, all I want to do is just drive this car inside. Now, the car that I want to mod is in a different garage from my CEO office so I just want to drive this in my CEO office and then once I'm inside my CEO garage I want to make my way to the elevator go inside the elevator and go up to my assistant so I want to go in actually my actual office and I want to use my assistant to spawn in the car that I want to put the mods on to if the car is in a different garage now if you are prepped a little bit more before or way you feel a little bit more prepped you would sit there and pull the cars that you want to mod inside of your CEO office so you can just drive them out now so now I just want to drive up to the door turn a little bit So now I just want to go inside. And that will unglitch you on the screen. Now the whole time while you're doing this, your friend's just chilling on that story mode alert. So I'm going back out. Because I don't want to put that car in here. Now I just want to go to my elevator. Go to my office. And I want to be registered as a CEO. If not, I want to go ahead and register as a CEO. So once you get up here, you just want to open the interactions menu. And you want to register as a CEO. Now I'm already registered as a CEO. So now I just want to walk up to my assistant. And I want to request a personal vehicle. And I want to select the property where the vehicle is at. And I want to call out the vehicle that I want to. Now, it will put me outside where the vehicle is at. Once I'm outside, all I want to do is request a buzzer. Now, if you're only doing one vehicle, you can. And go up in the air and jump out and die. But I'm just going to use the propellers to die so I can show you that you can mod more than one vehicle at a time so my vehicle is out so I'm open my interactions menu go to secure serve and I'm gonna see your vehicles and request me a buzzer now the reason why it says free for me because I do have GTA plus and I'm gonna expand it and enhanced so that's why it's free for the month of August see your vehicles are free to call out so now I just want to go and get inside my buzzer wherever that spawns in that so I just want to look through my buzzard and I want to hop in it 
wait to the propellers to get fully spinning, get out and run into the back of the blade. So once they start spinning here really fast, I want to very quickly get out before this thing just cut off. And I want to use the blade to die. And there we go. I did die and I spawned it back in and the car is modded. Now all I want to do is take the car and change one thing at LS Customs and then I can show you that you can mod another vehicle. Um, just remember you have to go back to your CEO office to call it the next vehicle. So I'm just going to very quickly go up here to ew, the LS Customs, change one thing on the vehicle and then make your way back to your CEO office. Now you're no longer on the glitched out screen, so you will be able to drive just perfectly fine now. So you just want to make your way, and then once you mod all the vehicles that you want to, you know, I can tell you the final steps there. So I'm just going to go and change one thing on this car, then I'm going to mod one more vehicle with these mods, so I'm fully glitched out and I can mod all the vehicles I want to. This is a multi-car to car merge. This is the only merge that is out that right now after the patch of the new update. If you do need assistance with this, please, please don't hesitate to ask the people on my Discord server to help out. We'll be more than glad to help, yo. So if you cannot call out the vehicle from your from your uh, assistant in your CEO office, unfortunately you will not be able to mod it. So planes, anything like that, you will not be able to mod. Um, AA trailers, sadly you will not be able to mod. You will still be able to mod your facility vehicles. No, you will not be able to do the Avenger. You will need two consoles, net cut, and the final setups of Act 2 to Doomsday Heist for modding an Avenger. So I just want to change one thing on the car. Alright, so one thing has been changed. And now I just go back to my CEO office and I'm going to show you that I can mod another vehicle. So I'm just going to make my way back to my CEO office and I'm going to call on their vehicle to put these mods onto. So I'm just going to make my way back to my CEO office and I'll call it the next car. Now I don't have to drive this car in because it is already saved so this car is fully saved so if you know what floor in your, in your office garage the vehicle is in you can go inside that garage and just drive the car out but like I said this vehicle was not in my office garage so I did have to use my assistant, as you saw, to call it out. So I'm just going to make my way back. And I'm almost back there. Going up to the building now. We get out on foot. And I'm going to show you now that I can just drive the car out. That won't put the mods on to. Instead of using the assistant. So you saw the uh, using the assistant method. Now you're going to see where you can just drive the car out. So I'm going to enter. And I'm going to just pick out a car here. And I'm going to put the mods on too. 
So I'm just going to put it on this here. So I'm just going to drive it out. And now I'm going to get back in my buzzard. Now this is the last vehicle I'm going to do. So I'm going to have a little fun with this. Instead of using the blades, I'm just going to go up in the air. And I'm going to jump out of the plane. And I'm going to spawn back in with the car. So this is the MF I was talking about. If you are not modding more than one vehicle, then you don't want to use the same buzzard over and over again. So you can just go up in the air. Get high enough, guys. Just get high enough. Jump out and don't open your parachute. Do not open your parachute at all. Spawn back in inside the car with the mods on it. And there you go. And now you just go and you change one thing on the car to save it. Now when you're done, now your friend does not have to stay inside the session for you to save the car. So at this time, he can press A to accept the alert to go to story mode. Or he can press B to come back into the session with you. You and the game will think the sprint is still going on. But he just wants to open his pause menu and go to a different session so my friend can go ahead and leave and come back now if you were modding facility vehicle well, when he does come back you will have to save it to the LS car meet start up a cage den that does still work so keep that in mind other than that I hope y'all find this glitch very successful and helpful Oh, but this is the new car to car merge where you can mod anything. Unfortunately, you cannot do AA trailers or planes because you're not able to call them out through your assistant inside your CEO office. As long as you're able to call them out through this from your assistant inside your CEO office, you are able to mod it. Hope y'all found this glitch very successful and helpful, and I will catch y'all inside the next video.